<coughs> it's um, it's traditional to um, sow onions on uh, Boxing Day. Um, it's uh, it's uh, so it's Christmas now, and um, I'm going to sow some Elsa Craig. It's old seed from last year, uh, so look, if it doesn't. If it doesn't do much, what I shall do is um, I'll just re-sow in February or something like that because you can't sow too early. Um, but what I'm going to do is um, I had a lot of success um, creating a nursery bed in the greenhouse last year. It worked a lot better than modules, so I had, you know, it's traditional with leeks to put them out in the um, in the garden when they're the width of pencils. Well, that that doesn't happen to most most people well it happened to me once that was this last season and that was because I sowed them into into the greenhouse bed uh, to grow on a little bit before putting them out in April so um, so I, maybe it's because the roots can go out deeper or something like that but it's it's uh, it, it works really well um, I it also worked really well with peas and various other things I did sow things in, in modules and they sort of yeah they do okay but um, I, I'm starting to like this, so that's what I'm going to do. So what I've done is I've put, um, well, I've put uh, sort of two inches of of soil on the beds, on the bed. Sorry, two inches of um, well rotted compost, and that's another story. Um, as I get a better gardener, I realise, I realise that um, that uh, not all Composts are created equal. Uh, anything with any chips of wood in are, is awful, awful stuff. It, I think it stunts growth. Um, I'm using this stuff from a local company. Uh, I've forgotten what it's called. They call it it's, it's horse manure or something like that. But it's 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 slightly smaller bags, 40 um, 40 liters. But it's like it's like peat. It's, it's horse compost, um, uh, but it's just fluffy. There's no big lumps of anything. It's really good stuff, uh, and things that grow in it grow really, really well. I'm using that, and also the um, that compost, the the, the sustainable uh, compost, uh, organic compost from uh, the Royal Horticultural Society. That's not too bad. I I suspect they have composted wood in it, but it's really well composted. So that that. I didn't think, think that worked very well, and it, it it works not not bad at all. So, so if I can't find the horse, um, the really fine horse, because not all thing, all bags that have horse compost on them are any good. The um, so there are ones where it's it's um, you know it says horse manure uh, and it's poorly rotted down. It's full of wood, and it spends sort of three months. Um, on the ground, and then you see all this all this wood on top, and that's where it's just not been composted properly, and it's just disastrous for the for your growing season. It, may, it won't be disastrous for the garden. No, you know, two or three years that'll be beautiful soil, but it's it's no good if you want your veggies this year. But anyway, um, so that's one of the things I've learned this year, this last year, is um, get good compost. So so yeah, so I'm gonna sow some Elsa Craig, and I've got some old seed Shimanita. Um, uh, Japanese bunching onion, which is a type of Welsh onion, selected in Japan, uh, which looks nice and thick. Um, I'm not judging my photographs I've seen, but then you can never can tell. But, uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that now, and I'll. Um, yeah. They're really uh, small seeds, um, onion seeds, so you have to sow them. Um, sow them. Uh, you don't sow them deeply. You sow them. Um, so I'm going to press this down a little bit then create a furrow, I think it's too... Uh, needs to be firmed up a little bit and then uh, it's a very very um, fi um, this fine seed uh, so it mustn't be done deeply because otherwise the seed will just be lost and just rot This is um, Elsa Craig from, it's an onion from last year, it's, it's a big onion, tasty, and I've lost the seed already. Oh, that didn't work well, did it? <sighs> <laughs> it 
Anyway, Shimanita. This is uh, it's a, basically it's a, it's a spring onion, um, and it's quite well. Look at the look at the width of those. So it's the width I want, but uh, it's basically a variety of the Welsh onion. So it's hardy. Um, Sew them quite thinly, so I'll get a few out. Actually, no, I'm going to do quite a few. What I'm going to do is um, station sew them. So I'm going to put um, sort of uh, ten uh, every sort of three inches. So I'm going to do basically a pinch. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'll transplant the the bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's a little pinch. And then what we do is uh, get the seed out, uh, the soil over and I'll just get this back in the packet. And I'll just lightly, that wasn't that light, was it? And press it down. Press it down. It makes good contact with the soil. And then remember to mark it. Oh, the water's going to it. The reason I bought this little thing was to keep the water out so I could protect the pencil that was happened. That's terrible. Yeah, right. That's Shimanita. Might have to do this again. What's the date? 